What is up, gang? Welcome back. Episode 3, House Targaryen, Random World. Thank you guys so much for checking back in. Hope your day was dope, and, or if it sucked, I hope this makes it better. Word. As always, uh, word, take off your shoes, and yeah, come fuck with me. Word. So, we're picking back up Vela, right? L l we've got Vela, we've got our council set up, we've got some other stuff that we've got up our sleeve we're we're working with the kingdom of tolos hopefully we can uh, sway queen denalara whatever long name um nice crown uh lady over to our side because we are hoping to hopefully this episode expand a little bit westward to new Kyria. so let's actually run our ticker up on speed gazillion word because i know the past couple of episodes we really haven't been able to move the game along because there's been a ton of you guys know what just just dizziness going on but um hopefully we get some stuff done this episode so yeah we know we're focused on new carrier and all of that stuff and wow wow um didn't see that shit coming all right so um yeah this justicar is a lot better than the other one from house lager and, of course, there's always going to be a ton of similar similarities because, you know, white hair don't care and all of that shit. Um, but, but this is, um, I'm kind of like shocked. I really didn't expect to get the claim so quick. But our Justice Ardenar has come through and not even in the clutch. This is kind of like pregame warm-up word. So, um, yeah, definitely going to have to um, keep an eye on Daynar because he is a loyal servant of the realm. So let's check it out. My liege, my work in Nukiria seems to have come to fruition. By bribing, cajoling, extorting, threatening, and forging documents, I have managed to fabricate a claim on the lordship of Nukiria, presently held by Lady Dela of Nukiria. I leave it up to you whether or not to press it. Okay, yeah, you, you know I kind of like just... Or uh, the end there. Your yours humbly, Danar. All right, so yeah, we're definitely gonna fucking use it. And now we're going to actually move, move a uh, Danar to some to some different uh to, to some different work, you know, because Nukiri is already on the radar. And you talk about like I should go play Lotto, but it's like way too late to go play Lotto. But yeah, I so didn't see this shit coming. So uh, maybe we're able to get to Nukiri. But um, what is west of Nukiria? Okay, the Western Valyrian Sea and the Western Summer Sea. Or, um, but what can we do down here? Right? We know we're still not in a position to really, really mess with Pyrus or Drummond Hill because uh, Rain. What is it? Yeah. Rhaenyra, she's just like a powerhouse. What is it? I think close to about 10,000 troops. Wow, no. Um, a little bit down. Yeah, she must have been in some kind of conflict or has some negative modifier uh going on because yeah she should be close to about nine thousand troops so um Drummond hill pirates we can't really fuck with Rainara. we got gelios down here and gelios yeah you, you, you know semi-formidable they're they're basically kind of like similar to us but she's got two lordships and that's denera denaria of House Gentis, right? So Gelios, uh, again, not too much of an, not too much of a real threat. And you know, whenever we, if we are able to successfully take over Nukiria, that 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 should kind of like bode well for us. But yeah, I'm not. I don't think we're in a spot yet that we can kind of like set our eyes or our sights on Gelios. So actually, check out uh, the Marble Mountains. All right, is this the Marble Mountains? No, it's not the Marble Mountains. Because the Marble Mountains were taken over by Rhaenyra of Draman Hill. Oh, this is crazy. All right. So the M Lordship of the Marble Mountains, you know, they were in the crosshairs of Lady Rhaenyra. And the former uh, lady, she had actually reached out to me, uh, Baynice. Yeah, she had reached out to me to see if we can help her out. And we just weren't able to. So let's see if she kind of like holds that against us. Yeah. Yeah, we have a negative twenty opinion hit uh, towards her because we didn't we didn't team up with her, and maybe we should have. Mm. Okay, so the Marble Mountains aren't in place. So you've got Binaros and you've got what is this? Bane Coast. Hmm. You know what? 
uh, let's see, just so I don't waste, no, we can only do a slave raid if we go that route via declare war, so we're actually going to send, yeah, we're actually going to send our Justice Star um, there, so we'll, we'll pick up, thank you so much for your work in Nukeria, that job's done, and we're going to send you to the Bane Coast, alright, so who knows with the way fucking uh Daynar is doing his job uh we might have uh two wars on our hands this episode who knows all right so uh we we've we've moved Daynar over to the Bane coast and to actually check out the Bane coast a little bit more let's see who we're plotting against who we're we're scheming against so this is Lady Daynara of House Kil Kalember Kalembir I like Kalembir it sounds more regal Columbia. Okay, that sounded like Columbia. <laughs> but uh, Lady Daenerys, she's 49. She's got one kid, which is Bathan. That's more. That's more like it. I could pronounce Bathan. He's married. So there's. Uh, so there's definitely some, some lineage going on. And um, yeah, there, there's some. There, there's some house. There's some realm building over in the Bane Coast. You know, she's definitely set up her her heir with um, a good wife all right and they're both currently in the court of lady Ciala. why would they be in lady Ciala's court mm, because he has more than one wife interesting all right so yeah i'm not sure how i didn't see the whole secondary wife shit over there but um but bathan actually is his second wife is actually a lady and she is the lady of how do I pronounce this? The Lordship of Vasgugis. Okay. So the Lordship of Vasgugis. It is off of the southern coast of Little Valyria. And does that mean she's a Soci Valyrian? Yes, she is. Okay. So um that's a that's a rabbit hole we can't um erase from our memories. But um but yeah, the Bane Coast, she's not married, all right, and I don't think she's going to kind of like push to get married. Her as a character, not bad, and that's Lady Daenara. Uh, she's kind of like similar to us. She's more heavy on the diplomacy side. She's got 4,214 troops, so um, yeah, uh, similar to uh, similar to the Nukirians, you know, uh, in terms of the military challenge that we're probably going to face by them so we've got Dela and Christ yeah I'm gonna I've, I've got to get better at these names Dela and Denora okay hmm interesting let's 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 double back in a little bit more on um Denora of House Kalimbir all right so she is a charismatic negotiator that explains the whole diplomacy she's a tyrant all right, but let's turn on the car info. Let's actually see how bad of a tyrant she actually is. All right, so she's only a level one tyrant, so she's not that bad. Like, people just don't fuck with her. Uh, she's ruthless. All right, so she's stubborn. She's arbitrary, and she's honest. All right, she's got these modifiers running on in the background. She's got um, some syncretic faith, so um, people that are... Um, that probably follow like the Roy Noir or stuff like that. She's probably sympathetic to them. She's got the whole blood of Valeria shit going on. But she's an incompetent military ruler. Okay. So um just like beefing with her, we should be able to take this pretty easily. Um at least Bane Coast, but I don't want to jump ahead too much, but that's what that's the next target for expansion. Um but while we've been all focused on like expanding our map, we got this notification. Some people are trying to kind of like disregard my honor and like get married whenever the fuck they feel like it. You can't do that. Not in my not in my realm fam like you gotta kind of like let me set you up okay let's check this out two people eloped got married without anyone's consent except their own and it falls to me as their liege to either accept the marriage or to do something about it all right so who actually got married who like i don't even give a fuck about this okay so you've got okay potentially a court physician he's you know you know he's a bookworm all right so this is orion all right and his wife is called Nairi, so a pretty good union as it is, you know, they they both, okay, she likes books, he likes books, so they kind of like got married on that strength, 
Um, she's a soci Valyrian. He's high Valyrian. What's up with all of this? Like, you know, like, or I'm not against, you know, you know, um, anything, you know, or Pangea, or, but um, word, it's um, it's just kind of like interesting. We just had two. Uh, uh, we have another instance of an associate Valyrian and a high Valyrian um, shacking up. And she, was she part of my realm? I don't think she was part of my realm. Yeah, she seemed like she's probably just like some random, uh, some random courtier that was uh, spawned by the game. All right, so let's actually go to our court physician. Let's see who's um, was actually uh, oh, so she's actually our storm singer. Let me just make sure. Yeah, she's actually on our council. Alright, so, yeah, we probably don't want to piss her off being that she's on our council. It doesn't really mean shit. And we actually have a better, um, yeah, we actually have a better option at court physician anyway. So, um, ah, oh, fuck. So, do we take the prestige hit or do we just accept the marriage? You know, we'll just accept the marriage. Uh, let's see if that kind of, like, goes against what I'm about. No, um, I'm a charismatic negotiator. And I'm infirm, so I just want people to live their life. Like, you know, don't don't live for Vela, live for you. So get married, fuck up my prestige, and pretty soon we'll be dead and our heir, Enix, will be kinda of like dealing with that stuff. And yeah, he, he he's kinda of like all of our eggs are in that basket because getting married right now, right? Like what's our fertility? Our fertility is at like a twelve point five percent. Yeah, we're just kinda of like going through the motions with Lady Vela. Um, as is, alright, so, um, pretty cool, uh, yeah, we're gonna get to Nukiria, I know, I know, right, before we die and shit, and have to establish a new claim, alright, but, uh, we can't do that, because we get all this, uh, amazing, um, CK to a Game of Thrones notification, so, with my illustrious education in all affairs of state and diplomacy, I should have no trouble finding the right way to endear myself to Queen Nailarla. Oh, I finally pronounced it right. Queen Nainarla. Nailarla. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Alright, so I should send an envoy to her realm. Yeah, that makes sense because our diplomacy is dope as fuck. Okay. So our our yeah, our our troop totals were close to that 7065 that I'm waiting to get to. I think once we get to like that 7,665 troop total or levy size, yeah, that's where we're going to um, declare war on Nukiria. And it seems like sending that envoy over to Nailarla has actually helped us out. Let's check this out. Just as expected, my diplomats were able to convince Queen Nailarla of what an honorable and trustworthy ruler I am. A woman that is well worth her respect. Wonderful. She's failing me. Great. Because I tell you, they are badass up there in Tolos. We need that Tolos um, help. All right. So who was this guy? Okay, so she's just released somebody who was, um, I guess, um, I guess some people that got married without her consent. Yeah, so she's got some people that are trying to fuck up her prestige over there in Tolos too. But let's get back to Ilvonis. Okay, so yeah, while while we're waiting for the next claim um, on Bane Coast to come in, let's actually check out our son a little bit more. So last episode we set up his focus. Right, but something that I think we're definitely not doing correctly is that, yeah, I think that we haven't set up his guardianship the right way because he's looking like he's gonna be good on the martial and the stewardship side of things, and we're again what we're dope on the diplomacy shit. So to set him up, I I think it's about time we set him up with a better educator or guardian or. All right, so let's actually see who's available on the martial side of things. All right, so we've got our master at arms, of course, Valerian uh, or Val. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go with Valerian. Yeah. Okay, so him as a character, he's a skill commander. He's got that good combat trait. He's a defender. He's an aggressive leader. Those are all. Those are all things that um, Enix can kind of like pick up by himself during like combat and shit like that, or from like some random event but he's a poor fighter he's zealous he's gregarious 
you know, we need somebody that's like a better fighter. Because if he stays fighting under me, he's going to he's gonna waste um, that great foundation of martial that he currently has going on. So actually, um, go back to the find characters option and see if we can bring in a better character. A character with better um, martial driven traits. Okay. Alright, so we've got this guy over here. His name is Damalon. De and he's the chief general for the Painted Valleys. Okay, so let's check him out. He's a brilliant commander. Great. And he's a skilled fighter. Okay, yeah, that, that was enough. He's better than um, our current master at arms. We're not going to fire our master at arms. But um, we're definitely going to set this guy up as a commander. And definitely up as the guardian of anix okay so we'll get back to anix but we got this notification that came in let's check this out it is hard scratching out a living in my realm here in ilvonis i am my own master however so perhaps i should turn to piracy to bring greater wealth to my house hmm hmm um okay so um wow yeah, this playthrough already. I'm already like digging in so much more. Well, not a lot more than House Lager. Yeah, shame, shame. You could never like anything more than House Lager. And yes, get me those custom character submissions. Hopefully, we can weave them in eventually. Like, if we survive this episode in the next episode. But um, yeah, um, I didn't get these kind of like options to like become a pirate and things like that. So this is pretty interesting. If we if we if we choose to become a pirate, we get a 50% chance that we get the trait of sympathy for Valyrian faith, right? Because we're just former Valyrians, right? And we pray to, like, dragons and shit. And um, we become a pirate, and we get, a, get of course, the pirate traits. All right, but the con about that is because is that we lose 250 prestige. And our prestige isn't currently that high anyway. We're only at 150, but, ugh, to go down that much I'm, I'm just not too sure like we want to take that hit right now um and yeah we've got fucking dragon eggs so no no we won't become pirates but it's so cool that this playthrough has given us these options that um or these kind of like notifications backgrounds of valeria i think like first episode or whatever but it's, it's just uh, yeah this is pretty cool pretty cool content or all right done geeking out all right so let's get back to Anix and has Damalon. Okay, so Damalon has just entered our court. Yay! All right, so let's go ahead and assign him as the guardian to Anix. And right, let's check out who's dope on on Marshall. You are dope on Marshall, and you will now be responsible with raising my son and hopefully he takes some of these uh good characteristics that you have for yourself de milan okay so let's go ahead and get de milan married too just because of word right like why waste what we're doing currently and this i think would be a great opportunity to potentially forge um a good relationship with the character that we can potentially have loyal to us for the foreseeable future okay so um Let's see who's actually available with a good amount of Marshall that he can marry. Okay, everybody sucks. Everybody sucks on the Marshall side of things. All right, guys. Yeah, so I, I'll be straight up with you guys. I think, and gals, and gals, and, and brodettes. All right, I think that's where we're going to leave it off at. Thank you guys so much for being here for this episode. Yeah, I, I think I'll be straight up with you guys. This series is probably going to be like... I'm not sure when we're going to end. I'm not sure if there is an end in sight. We've got a couple of goals that we've got um, on our radar, um, like taking over Nukiria and hopefully getting this claim on the Bane Coast to trigger, hopefully sooner than later, right? Hopefully Daynar wasn't like a one-hit wonder on that shit. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure. This could end at, like, episode 16 or episode 250. But while we're, while we're just at the beginning of it, you guys get in, right? Send me those custom character submissions, all the infos in the comment section. Leave your comment. Tell me how much you love it. Tell me how much you hate it. Tell me how much you want to see me do something 
else with the series but yeah hit that you know comment talk chatter join our discord night to the round a lot of dope stuff as always check out my other content creator brethren over there i'm a brethren uh that's over there and yeah um that's enough of the um gratuities no 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 there's one more thing i've got to say Hit that like button, subscribe, word. It really helps grow the channel. It really helps other people see the channel and uh, be a part of this crazy shit that we do here every time in my crib. That's it. I'm out of here. As always, play some CK2. And yeah, you guys be cool. You guys be safe. And I'm out of here. Take it easy. Peace. Bye.